All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. One for the money, two for the show, three time for all of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, check it out, man. I have been out of town. I was on vacation, and I had videos scheduled to drop, and then, you know, I really didn't schedule them. They were just up. So y'all gonna see a lot of dated videos and a lot of uh, jump shot videos and stuff like that that I've already put out. But hey, they still gonna help y'all out, man. But look though, where did we go? We went to Florida, went to Orlando, took LJ to, um, first of all, new shirt up in the store with the gym store. You know how I be like on your shit, but this is on your shot. That's right. But uh, y'all let me think, let me know if y'all think that's fine, man, if I should put that down in the, uh, if I should put that in the store. But look, took LJ to Orlando. It was his, uh, you know, his birthday, his birthday coming up and all that good stuff. So we took him to um, to have some fun. It was their winter break, all that good stuff. Y'all know how it is, man. Kids be out of school. His birthday coincided with that. So we, we wanted to just take him somewhere. So we took him to Universal Studios. He's finally big enough to get on all of the rides. I mean, he's just barely big enough. It's just like his hair got him over. Man, we went on some... Um, we went on all of the rides, man. And you know he in the SpongeBob right now, so it's like SpongeBob, like, hey, you wanna face your, you, are you ready to face our fears? That's what he was saying every time we got ready to get on one. And he's like, yeah! Man, we got on the roller coasters, even though a lot of them, he, oh, a couple of them, he had his eyes closed the whole time, he holding on to my arm and stuff. It was just like, man, it was so much fun. And we had, um, we had a little clip from your boy LJ that I dropped on my Twitter last night. If, you if you're not following me on Twitter, man, you need to be following me on Twitter and Instagram. I post stuff. I'm going to start back posting stuff stuff uh, daily in, in, in case y'all case y'all didn't know. But check out y'all boy. Check out your boy LJ, man, on Instagram. Look at him. Look at him. Yes. And look at who is that big ass dude coming over there. Intimidating him. Talking about. I would have let him play all day, man, but uh would've let him play all day. Yeah. yeah. But look at it, look at how he beat look, hold on, hold on, we go, we go look, 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 look one more time. Yeah! But yeah. well, LJ out there beating the drums, yes! But then you didn't see that dude come over there and just spoil all the fun. It was people in line, man. And I had, you know, you you know you gotta you gotta save the kids from themselves or really save people from themselves because somebody would have said something, they might have got their ass whooped. And I'm not even playing. And I'm saying that with a smile. Also, I'm looking like a cyborg right now. Like, cause I got do you see that red eye, man? Man, my my fellow contact wears. You know we not supposed to wear contacts to sleep. And I did it. Shut up! Ain't nobody ask you nothing. I mean, I wore my contacts to sleep, so that's why I got a nice big red eye. But don't worry, I got my Visine. It look like I've been on that good gas. But I got my clear eye Visine, man. So, you know, it is what it is, man. But I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. Some people hit me up on Instagram and Twitter asking me, was I all right? I'm like, yeah. I just don't like to tell people when I go, when I leave the house, when I go out of town and stuff like that. Because I ain't trying to get robbed of none of that stuff, man. So, you know, I don't advertise when I'm out of town. You just... You were supposed to just see videos on videos, but uh, that didn't happen. Sorry about that. Anyway, man, look, check it out. On to what we got to talk about today. The NBA 2K League draft was this weekend. A lot of people upset. A lot of people felt like they did. They should have gotten in. Should have gotten in. A lot of people didn't get in. Brutus M did a good video on it, and it was something that I wanted to pick it back off of just because of the fact that, bro, you got to realize that in 2K, there's a hierarchy. And for some reason, you got the elitist, which are the people that play Team Pro-Am or WR and stuff. They feel like they're the best at the game. And I just say that they're the best people at exploiting the game or they're the best people that standing on a hash or standing in the corner watching their point guard play. Like, that's really what a lot of them are the best at. I mean, a lot of times, let's be honest. Can we be honest? Can I be frank? I'll be frank and you be uh, Christopher Wallace, all right? Look. A lot of times when you're watching those people, a lot of them guys can play that, that, that are half sitting in corner sitting. And not, a lot of them can play, but a lot of them can't play. A lot of them just good at standing right there and knocking down an open shot, which that is a skill. But I feel like that's the part that anybody could do. Those jobs should be up for grabs every year. And then, you know, you got people that's, that's locks. That, that I, I met, bro, I done seen people comment on this stuff that was locks last season and they didn't do shit last season but get torched and smoke shots. 
That's all I seen them do all season. But, but hey, you know, they want to weigh in and talk. So, like, it is what it is. I get what people saying. I seen people, like, I watch WR, so I watch all these seasons and stuff like that. If you want to get to the 2K League, man, you got to go through WR. WR is just like the minor leagues or like the proving ground for the 2K League. Because what you got to do is you got to think about it like this. Now, and if, they, if anybody got something to say, I mean, they can't whoop my ass. I mean, just look at how massive I am. But, you know, it is what it is. No, 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 no. You know what I'm talking about. So, but look. If you want to get there, you got to go through WR, man. That is it. Like, think about it like this. A guy can show up in Indianapolis next month, I mean, in April, or March, April, whatever. I think it's in, I think Indianapolis is next month. A guy can show up in Indianapolis at the combine next month, unproven, all that, hit all the incentives. He could run a 4-1, a 4-1-2-5, you know, swat every ball, do all of that stuff. But if they ain't got no college tape on this guy, his chances of getting drafted early or over somebody that they've seen play, let's say like somebody like Richard Sherman ran a 4-5, a 4-6, damn near a 4-7, whatever. But you saw him play at Stanford for all those years and you really couldn't throw at him and he, and he, and he was hooping. So, right? So, if a guy would have just showed up and and um and 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 I was like, hey, I'm I'm out here. I hit all the incentives. I ran a better time than him. I did this. I did that. I did. They're not gonna take that guy because they don't have enough tape on you. They don't know your tendencies. They don't even know you. They don't know who you. Don't, they don't know what you're about. So that's why it's like that. Like I said, I understand it. I get it. But if it's going to be like that, and that's how it is, 2K needs to have, like Brute said, some transparency and tell people that, like, yo, that's everybody ain't getting a fair shake. That's all I'm saying. And they advertise that you're getting a fair shake, but not everybody's getting a fair shake. If you're not, I'm, I'm just letting you know, if you ain't playing in WR, if you're not in one of those WR leagues, one of the top WR leagues, and you're not playing and getting your tape out there, and you're not streaming and showing how you play in a team pro-am setting, then your chances of getting in are next to none. And on top of that, if you are out there playing and you're doing it, your chances are still not that great. That doesn't guarantee that you're going to get in, but... That's what happened with Bear. Bear didn't get in the first season or whatever. And um, whatever, it was 2K18, right? He didn't get in the first season. Season number two, he, he played WR because he was playing with Island Gang and all that. He was the point guard and all that. Now he, he showed himself just hooping, hooping, hooping. And then boom, he's there. That's it. That just is what it is. So if you don't, if they, if they got no tape on you, they're just not going to pick you up. I mean, they just see what it is. I saw a lot of people that were playing, they got in, and uh, they got into the draft process. Instead of, they just kept playing part, kept playing stage, kept doing stuff like that. If you get into the draft pool by your stats, you need to go immediately to a get on it. And it shouldn't be like this, but this is how it is. You got to go get on the WR team and show what you got because it's way different. Stage and park are way different than regular pro-am and then even team pro-am. It's way different, man. You got to you gotta be efficient. You got to show that you uh, that you can play. You got to show all of this stuff. Now, 667 got hosed, just like just like me and Bruce said. That, that wasn't right. Like, he should have at least been in the draft pool because he does play some WR. I mean, he does play team pro-am and stuff like that. I feel like he should have at least been in the draft pool, but you know it is what it is, man. A lot of times, we can't. We don't understand why they do what they do, but we know that they do what they do. And I'm letting you know right now, if you are not in WR, your chances of getting through in the draft are effectively zero. And if you are in WR and you cutting up, it, it only gonna raise you. It's gonna only thing that does is give you some visibility. You know what I'm saying? Like that gives you good visibility. But if you're, you know, you still might not make it. But you gotta play. You gotta play in in the organized leagues. And, and some of that stuff like that, man. And it's hard to get in them joints, man. It ain't easy. It costs money to get in that. And not only does it cost money, but you also, you know, you gotta, you, you gotta hoop and you gotta win. Like ain't nobody gonna pick you up if you're not winning, man. But like I said, nobody's gonna at this point in the game, in the in the first season, yeah, they picked up a lot of people sight unseen because they didn't know. Second season, a lot of guys came from WR. Third season, y'all already know what time it is. That's the proving ground right there. So if you wanna get on, that's what you're gonna have to do. Anyway, man, up next, man, we got my boy Rico Fenice. He said, calling out all gamers for the new RPW jump rope challenge. Challenge. Do you have what it takes? to win this league. Hey, look, I mean, to win this challenge. First place gets $125. Second place gets $75. Good luck. Good luck. And uh, and let's get it. 
And uh, you got you got from February 21st, February 28th to do it, man. But it really it just says the most six the most jump ropes in 60 seconds. No edited videos. And uh, you know, what what what's the other thing it said? No edited videos, no breaks, and as soon as you stop. It's over, and then tag him with the tag him with the uh, jump rope challenge. So go out there, jump rope your ass off. Ain't no doubling. It ain't no double dutch. It ain't none of that stuff. Somebody was asking, can you do double jumps and triple jumps? No, bro. No, no, no. It, it don't matter. It, it, you know what I'm saying? If you if you're doing like this, if you're doing two two revolutions, but no, we we count. We're really counting jumps. So it's single jumps, and 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 it's not revolutions of the rope. It's how many times you're jumping. So make sure you do that. But like I said, if you feel like you can do that, man, hey, do your thing. Oh, also up next, Shakedown says, he put out a poll. Should the cages return or be scrapped in 2K21? Man, you know how I feel about that, man. I feel like the cages, I feel like the cages are the reason that the parks are not lit. Get rid of them. That's what I say. Get rid of them. Something new. Some people say something new. I don't think we need nothing new, man. They suggest... Get rid of the cages, period. A lot of kids that play this game or a lot of people that play this game and they really don't care, that's where they're going to go. They're going to go to the cages. One dude even said in the comments, man, he said, I ain't even noticed we were Puma Mania. I was going down there to street cage. I street cages. Hey, dudes be silly, man. Y'all yeah, be saying the craziest stuff in my comments. But anyway, look, he's, hey, look, this is the thing. We play the game. The parks are not lit because there are probably... I've never gone to the cages and not seen the cages lit. Have you ever, have y'all ever seen that? Like you go to the cages right now, you probably gonna have to wait for a game. Ain't that crazy? Now that either means to me that the cages servers are, the number of cage servers are smaller. So everybody gets cramped into one, you know, a few cage matches, <laughs> cage matches. A few people, everybody gets cramped into a few cage matches. And because of that, it seems fuller. Why can't we employ that same logic with the park then if that's what it is? just cramp more people in and we'll have more games and more people waiting and stuff like that but i guess they don't want to have people waiting and stuff i don't know what it is but i feel like we have a lot more people playing and to play against for other modes if the cages weren't there conversely you got people that like the cages and stuff like that but only four percent I mean, it ain't that many because only 4.8 percent said bring it back bring it back bring it back only a few people said bring it back so I mean, I say get rid of it, and then most everybody else says something new. I don't know what that something new would be, but hey, I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Should the cages be scrapped? Should they bring them back, or should they bring something new? I don't know, man. I think that the 3v3 matchmaking, three-on-three matchmaking was something cool, and it, and it went a long way this year. Um, I really feel like, I feel like it did go a long way this year. I feel like it's something that we're going to be able to use, and I think it's something they're gonna expand upon in next gen. Um, that's, that's going to make all of us be like, damn, okay, this is worth the wait. I don't know, man, but y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think, which one should they do. And last but not least, man, check it out, man. We got your boy NBA 2K Toots with a, uh, he did a very in-depth thing with, um, uh, between Back Down Punisher and Moving Truck. Should you use it? How, how, how you should use it? Uh, what levels you should use it on, all that good stuff. It made me a believer. I'm probably going to put it on silver or at least bronze because I did put post-move lockdown, post -move lockdown on that. And like a lot of times when you're playing in the park, people will realize that they center can't do nothing, I mean, that they team can't do anything at all. And so what they will do is they will um they'll, they'll just throw the ball inside to the center and the center just get a bunch of cheap, back, cheap buckets. What I think I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to put both of the, I'm going to put post-lockdown and I'm going to put... Uh, I'm gonna put post lockdown on silver, and I'm gonna put uh, back and back moving truck on silver, or just both of them on bronze, because I just need some resistance against them trying to, you know, do stuff like that, because it, it, it ends up getting real cheap. And then, but see, you gotta have box on on uh, box and rebound chaser on on Hall of Fame though, because those big setters are just gonna take advantage of it, because this is gonna the rebound just gonna go to them. It, it's crazy. But hey, like I said, he did a, if an excellent video, an excellent in depth video. Everybody should go check that out, especially if you're a center, man. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a in-game test on it and all that good stuff, man. And we're gonna see how it is. But you should you should be subscribed to NBA 2K Toots anyway, because they put out a lot of good information, man. And last but not least, we're gonna check out my boy Dresky. Y'all know we gotta check out Dresky, man. Hold on one second, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
This one says, it's always that one Muslim that slacks off when he get out of prison. Think down in the comment section, man. What do y'all think? Uh, do you think the 2K, the 2K League should, should revamp that process on how to get people, or if that is the process, they should need, they need to stop advertising it as anybody can get in. That's number one. Number two, are you gonna what do you think about moving truck? Does moving truck work for you? Do you use it? Do you even have room for that badge? And number three, should they be getting rid of the cages? I think the cages should poof, bitch be gone. That's what I think about them. But uh, that might not be what you think. Let me know what you think down in the comment section, man. I got to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. On your shot, man. God speed. Hey, let me know since I put this in the store. I'm probably going to go ahead and put it in there. With, uh, and I got to put tanks up today. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to put I'm gonna put something down. I'm going to pin a comment down that should I put this in the store. And if y'all say yes, we'll go ahead and put it in there. But we're going to put it in there anyway. I'm out. Peace.